In this video, I'm going to show you a quick overview of how to enter contributions manually. And you do need the finance role in order to do this. Go to the header and select Administration. And on the left, under Contributions, select Bundles. I want to create a new bundle. So I just press this green button. It creates a new, a new bundle for me. And it has the bundle ID number right up here at the top. I'm going to leave the type as pre-printed. You can read more about these types and how they're used in our documentation. The default date is going to be the previous Sunday, the most recent Sunday. You can change it or leave it as it is. And then the deposit date is the date you will take the money to the bank. If you have each of these types of contributions, cash, check, and coin, put them in the correct place. If you only have checks, just enter that and press Save. I'll keep this very simple with a $500 bundle. You notice there, the items total is zero. The item count is zero. That's because I haven't entered any individual contributions. To do that, I go to the Actions button in the top right. When I select it, I want the Post Bundle Edit option. And this is where I will enter the contributions. So I'm going to enter the people IDs because I have those on the envelopes in front of me. I tab over, notice that it just skips right over the name. I enter the dollar amount, I leave the fund the same, I put the check number in and keep tabbing. I'm on the next row and I put the next envelope number or people number, enter a dollar amount, and the same thing, I just keep entering. Now, for this one, I realized after I entered the full amount that I was supposed to put part of it in a different fund. All I have to do is select Actions on the right, Split, and if I want to split out $1 amount, I put that. If I need to split out a little bit more, I hit Space and enter that next dollar amount and click Submit. This will leave that original amount. It will just be reduced by the two amounts that I entered in the dialog box. And now I just select the fund for each one. Click the checkbox to accept it. Same thing here, select the fund and accept. And then I'm ready to move on. Now I'm going to search by name, but before I do, I'm going to select this box, deliver more information and results. When I do that, it's going to present not only the name, but it will present the email address, the street address, and their most recent dollar amounts. If the top person is the one you want, you just tab over and then enter the dollar amount. Now, in this case, I only entered part of it because I noticed on the envelope that it was broken out into several funds. So I'm going to leave the $100 for that. And instead of splitting it, I'm going to duplicate. So in the People ID field, I press the letter D and Tab, and it will duplicate the row below. And I can enter another dollar amount, select the fund that that should go to and tab over, and notice that it picked up the same check number. And then I just use D again to duplicate, and I select the dollar amount and the fund tab, and I'm finished. So there are two ways that you can divide one check into multiple funds. Notice that my bundle total and my items total match. My items count are seven. I've got a name for each one, so I can close the bundle. Now, you won't be able to close it if you don't have a name for someone or if these two do not match. And there's a very easy way you can find someone, and that is to, if you do not find them here, if I put in something that isn't going to match and tab over, Notice it tells me up in the top that it hasn't been found. And at that point, if I keep tabbing, it gives me a select button. And I can just use the same search ad dialog that we have everywhere throughout Touchpoint, like you're adding someone to a meeting or to an organization, and you can find that person. If they don't exist in the database, you add that person right there. I'm going to remove this so that I can close this bundle. That was just to demonstrate that. Now I'm going to go back to the bundle details. And my, I'm going to go back to Edit Bundle Header. And now I can close the bundle. So I just changed the bundle status from Open to Closed. 
and click Save. And it will prompt you if you can't do that, if the bundles, if the items don't match, or if there is a contribution without a person assigned to it. So that's how easy it is to enter your contributions. You can even click the bundle report and get a breakdown if you had cash and check. You can do that. We didn't have anything but uh, checks, but there it is. You can even print this and get your counters uh, to sign it.